Thank you for wanting to use the Sequoia Regional Library System's 3D printing service. This video will cover the basics of setting up a 3D printer so that you can be prepared to execute a successful print job. Before you arrive for your appointment, filament for your 3D print job will be preloaded by a staff member. We will select filament based on your preferred print color and what we have available at the library. The 3D printer will be turned on and the printing software up and running when you are ready to begin your appointment. Parts of the 3D printer. SRLS uses Lowell's Bot printers for our 3D printing services. While the models vary slightly in size and features, the following components are present. Graphical LCD screen, power switch, tool head, print bed, USB port, AC power port, and case. Setting up your print job. Lulzbot printers are controlled by Cura software. This is what you will use to load, edit, and print your file. Beside the word Cura at the top left, you will see the words prepare and monitor. Prepare allows you to upload your file for printing, resize it, move it, etc. This is the tab you will use to adjust the settings of what you are printing. Monitor allows you to change the settings of the machine, like temperature of the extruder and build plate, the position of the nozzle, etc. Here is where you're able to load in filament or change the temperature of the machine. To change the view or orientation of the digital build plate, scroll to zoom or right click on the screen to move. Once you are familiar with the layout of the software, you will be ready to upload your print job. To choose which print to upload, Click on either the folder icon in the top left corner of the gray screen, or click File, and then Open Files. Both will take you to the same file selection screen. Click on and open the file you'd like to print. The 3D print will now appear in the center of the digital build plate. Click Prepare on the bottom right of the screen to slice the files and see an estimate of print time and materials the print will use based on the current print setup. If you change anything in the print setup, you will want to click Prepare again to reslice your print job and to receive a more accurate estimate. Resizing and editing a print job. Click on the print on the digital build plate while on the Prepare screen. On the left side of the screen are a series of boxes with icons that will become highlighted when you roll your mouse over them. While the print is selected, click on the box you need to manipulate your print. Move will let you drag your print on the digital build plate to whatever spot. Please note, make sure to not drag it off of the digital build plate. Doing so will cause the print to turn transparent and unable to slice and load itself correctly. Scale will let you resize your print. As long as uniform scaling is checked, the print will uniformly scale the X, Y, and Z values up or down just by changing one of them. Please note, the print will turn transparent if the print scales too large to fit the build plate properly. Resize it until it turns opaque and slices and loads the weight and print time. Rotate will rotate your print by pulling the red, blue, or green circles. Please note, sometimes rotating the print will actually put it in a better angle for printing. To the right of the screen in the white box, there are options to change the inside of the print as well as how it will print. Profile will change the speed at which the printer will print each layer by adjusting the layer, height, and thickness. Infill changes the density of the support within the print. Generate support will automatically add support to any overhangs on the outside of your print. 
While in the prepare screen, any places on your print that might need support will highlight themselves in red. Build plate adhesion will create a stable base for your print to print on top of. Wrapped is the only adhesion that matters in this options list. When looking at the bottom of your print, are only small sections touching the build plate? If so, enabling a raft for your print will ensure none of those small pieces are pulled up accidentally by the extruder while printing. Objects with a large surface area touching the build plate do not need build plate adhesion. Each time one of these settings is manipulated, the weight and build time of the print may be affected. Make sure to note what the print time and weight of the print is before you begin printing. Printing After uploading the print and manipulating the size, supports, position, etc., click on Monitor at the top of the screen. Under USB Printing at the top of the page, you should see Connected via USB. If you do not, please ask staff for assistance. Click on Start Print at the bottom of the screen to get going. The printer will run through a startup process, including auto-leveling the print bed, cleaning the print head, and cleaning up both the print head and bed. This will take a few minutes. You can toggle back and forth between prepare and monitor while your job is printing to keep track of the job progression. Removing a completed print from the print bed. When your print has completed, the printer will start a cooling period. Wait until the build plate has moved to the front of the printer before taking the print off the printer. This ensures that nothing will bend out of place or become misshapen. You may need to use a tool to get the print off the build plate. If this is the case, be extremely careful not to dig into the plate with the tool and go slow so the print is not ruined. Please ask staff for assistance if you need help. Wrapping up your 3D printing appointment. Once your print is complete, cooled down, and removed from the build plate, you are ready to pay for your 3D print. Please ask staff for assistance with paying for your print. Once payment is complete, you are all set and ready to go with your new creation. Thank you for watching this video on 3D printing at the Sequoia Regional Library System. We look forward to seeing you during your next visit to the library.